Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome Hi, back. Welcome back. Hello, hello. How are you today? I'm so fine, teacher. Very good. Very good. How was your day? Oh, oh, it's good. Excellent. I'm very happy to hear that. What did you do today? What did you do today? What did you what did what did you do today? What did es el pasado, verdad, teacher? That's right. What did you are? say? No. No. What did you do today? Like this. What did you ¿Qué hiciste tú? do today? Uh huh. What did you do today? Ah, okay. Okay. Only work, teacher. Ah, very good. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good, good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to your English class. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. yes, we're ready. Everybody's ready. All right. Um, who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What Possess information? Possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, and possessive names. That is correct. Excellent. Um, can somebody give me an example using the possessives? Somebody give me an example using a possessive, please. One example from yesterday's class, from the possessives, using the possessive. My, my car is green. Uh, repeat. My car is green. My car is green. What is the possessive? My. Very good. Another example. The green car is mine. The green car is mine. Perfect. Very good. What is the possessive? Mine. Mine. Correct. Uh, somebody give me another example. Me. Okay. Edwin? This, this is her purse. This is her purse. What is the possessive? Her. Her. Very good. All right. Um, at this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions about yesterday's class? Do you have any questions related to yesterday's class? Vocabulary, pronunciation, um, intonation, something like that? No? All right. I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at the next activity on the platform. Are you ready? Yes, we're yes. ready. All right. OK. So everybody should have something to write with. OK. I would like for everybody, please have in your hand um, your notebook and your pen, notebook and your pen, because I want you to take notes so that you can go ahead and ask me questions uh, when you finish. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to be looking at section 4.9. Uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones usando el presente continuo. So, eh, ¿quién me puede decir para qué se usa el presente continuo? To describe action that are happening in the moment. For, for example, and I am doing the homework. All right, so I'm going to ask you a question. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? 
¿Cómo vas a responder? I am doing my homework, for example. Uh, okay, I am doing my homework. Estoy haciendo la tarea. Okay, presente continuo. Eh, I am learning English. Estoy aprendiendo inglés. I am practicing English. Estoy practicando el inglés. Eh, I am speaking English. Estoy hablando inglés. I am paying attention. Estoy poniendo atención. I am taking notes. Estoy haciendo apuntes. Estoy limpiando mi casa. I am cleaning my house. Estoy lavando los platos. I am washing the dishes. Estoy arreglando la cama. I am making the bed. Okay. Repeat after me, please. What are you doing? 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 I am doing my homework. I am doing my homework. I, am homework. I, I am learning English. I am learning English. I am practicing English. I am, I am speaking English. I am paying attention. I am taking notes. I am cleaning my house. I am cleaning my house. I am washing the dishes. I am making the bed. I am making the bed. Okay. So, vamos a ver el video. Quiero que vean el video y tome apuntes para entender un poco más eh, profundo el uso de el presente continuo. Listen, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking Give me one moment, ladies and gentlemen. One moment, please. Un minuto, por favor. Are you ready? Yeah, we are ready. Yes, we're ready. All right. Does anybody have questions at this moment? No, teacher. No questions. All right. Questions. Let's continue. Right now, I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus 
the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. Oh, no. We have the it's subject, there. it's you, the verb it's to be, no. are, the it's verb plus oh. ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends and coworkers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples. All right. Now, for this activity, I would like for everybody to please give me at least three examples. Three examples similar to these examples right here about yourself and your family. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Does anybody have any questions? No, no questions. Please. All right. No question. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. But first, we're going to do the smile, everybody. Smile. Say cheese. Cheese. One more time. <laughs> One more time. Nice. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah, I got to do it. Sorry, guys. It's, I guess it's for the attendance. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, we are ready. So okay. If you have any questions, please ask for help. And I will visit your session and I will help you, okay? Si tiene pregunta, eh, pida ayuda y yo visito tu sesión. Five minutes, let's go.
Eh, estoy viendo que Glenda Portillo, Evelyn Esther y Carlos Rafael no ingresaron. Eh, ¿Les puedo ayudar en algo? ¿Necesitan ayuda? Hola, hola, ¿me escucha? Ok, pueden trabajar en pareja. Eh, ya puse las parejas que les había asignado con otra persona. Hola. Hola. Um, eh, eh, ya empezaste con los ejemplos. Ya. Ya. Ya, ahorita. Eh, ¿Cuántos dijo que hiciéramos? Um, tres. Tres ejemplos. Tres. Ah, vaya. Yo tengo dos. I am learning English online. My daughter is doing her homework. Okay. Nice. Yo, tení, yo tenía. <laughs> She's dancing all night and you are wearing a new shoes. Uh, la primera no la escuché bien, repítala. She's dancing all night. She's dancing online. No, all night. All night. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. She's dancing all night. Ah, o sea uh -huh. que allí lo está usando como un futuro. Ah, ok, ese ya es un ya es un poco más avanzado. Esa estructura oh, okay. ya es un poco más avanzada. Sí existe. Sí existe. Okay. Porque. Entonces no sería. Ajá, uh -huh. porque si, si decís, por ejemplo, me preguntas, eh, Mr. Santos, eh, ¿qué vas a hacer Friday night? Eh, ask me, Mr. Santos, what are you doing Friday night? Uh, ask me, ask me, ask me. Ah, Mr. Santos. Um, ¿Cómo me dijo? What are you doing? What are do, you doing? Friday night. Friday night. Y yo te digo, eh, voy a bailar toda la noche. I am dancing uh -huh. all night. Uh -huh. Right? Eh, uh -huh. Ya lo estoy usando como una estructura de futuro. Sí existe. Eh, pero ya, ya eso lo vamos a ver más adelante así que ahorita solo vamos a hablar el presente continuo puede, puede decir ¿qué está haciendo ella? what is she doing? Ajá, y usted dice she is dancing, is dancing. Ah, ok porque si ya dice usted all night y ahí está hablando de una estructura de futuro que sí existe Ajá. pero eso ya es avanzado Ajá. ok Gracias. Okay. Bye. Las tenemos, ¿verdad? Sí. All right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody ready to continue? Yes, sure. All right. Eh, necesito que Berta, Alicia, Brian, Armando, Carlos, Rafael, Dora, Francisca, Fernando, José y Guillermo, Ernesto. Necesito que me escriban en el WhatsApp privado, por favor. Repito los nombres. Berta, Alicia, Brian, Armando, Carlos, Rafael, Dora Francisca, Fernando José y Guillermo Ernesto. Necesito que me escriban al WhatsApp en privado, por favor. All right. Um, let me have one volunteer. Sí, teacher. Ok, Ana. Como no me metí. I am, I am ahorita tengo que meterme para con otra en pareja. Online, hay interferencia. Sí, ya le puse en silencio el micrófono okay. a Carlos. Él era el que estaba haciendo transferencia. Ok. I am learning English online. My daughter is doing her homework. 
My husband watching the news. Ah, okay. We say ha husband. Husband. husband esposo. Husband. husband. Se escribe con una U, pero se pronuncia como una A. Ha. Husband. 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 Yeah. husband. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Anna. Let me have another volunteer. Oh, me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Elnice, let me hear your examples. Eugenia. Just say my name. Oh, Eugenia. sorry. Eugenia. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I was lifting weights before the class. So <laughs> right right now my adrenaline is very tun 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 tun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. sorry about that. I okay. was squatting. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay, my sentence is I'm cooking rice right now. Uh, my daughter is having online class and my son is playing video games. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent work, Eugenia. Another volunteer, please. Thank you. Yes. Another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. All right. Andrea. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My sentence is, is I am learning piano. My, my piano. sentences are is plural. Ah, are mm -hmm. yes, okay. Are uh, my mom is cleaning the house, mm -hmm. and my father wearing a shirt and t-shirt. My father is wearing. Is mm -hmm. <laughs> beaver. You have to sure. use the beaver. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Very good. Does anybody have any questions um, at this moment referring to these activities? Do you have any questions? No questions. Okay. Now, uh, for the next activity, I would like for us to look at section of. Uh, 4.11 knowledge check. Now, for the knowledge check, I would like for us to look at the instructions. Look at the pictures and input the correct answer in the blank. Some sentences need a negative connotation and some affirmative. For example, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Everybody repeat. My name is Claire. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or I'm wearing high heels too. Or I'm wearing high heels too. All right. Instructions. Mire las fotos e ingrese la respuesta correcta en los espacios en blanco. Algunas oraciones necesitan ser negativas y otras afirmativas, según las fotos. Siga el ejemplo. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too, or... I'm wearing, I am wearing high heels too. Any questions? Any question? Any questions? No, no questions. Um, ¿Qué significa early? Repeat, please. I didn't hear you. ¿Qué significa early? Earrings. 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 Who can tell me 
What is the meaning of earrings? Arriba. Aretes. Very good. That is correct. Aretes. Oh. Earrings are yes. aretes. No sé a dónde están. ¿A dónde está la palabra? Preguntaba por la palabra de arriba. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Lo que acabamos de leer. Ah, uh, wearing. Ah, uh, wearing. Ah, uh, uh, ok. Sorry, yo pensé que dijo earring. No, ok. Wearing. Earring es aretes. Earrings. Wearing this. Y wearing es... Wearing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Wearing mm -hmm. es vestir. Por ejemplo, ella dice, My name is Claire. Me llamo Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Estoy vistiendo un traje verde hoy. Es de vestir. Por ejemplo, yo te digo, I am wearing a tie. Uh -huh. A pink tie. A tie, correct. Thank you. Thank you. Another question. Does anybody else have any more questions? Teacher. Hi. Where's the meaning hearts? What's the meaning? Hearts. Heels. What is the meaning? Heels. High heels. Can we put Can we put it? Very good. Zapatos Zap de tacón alto. That's right. Zapatos de tacón alto. High heels is correct. Okay. Son dos palabras que componen una sola cosa. Zapatos de tacón, así como los de ella. Ok, uh, antes de continuar, eh, necesito tomarles la asistencia. So, give me one moment, please. One moment, please. Control de asistencia. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. When I call your name, I want you to say present. When I call your name, I want you to say present. Okay. Eh, Adriana Eunice. Present. Um, Alison Michelle. Present. Ana Bernarda. Present. Andrea Beatriz. Present. Berta Alicia. Brian Armando. Carlos Rafael. Eh, Carlos Rafael estaba conectado, ¿verdad? Porque él era el que tenía la bulla ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, él era. Ok. Ah, pues le vamos a poner present. César Azael. Present, teacher. Ok. Daniel Edgardo. Present teacher. Present, present, okay, present. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, very good. Darold Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Diana Melissa. Present teacher. Excellent. Delmi Roxana. 
present. Uh, si alguien me puede hacer el favor y escribirle a, a Carlos Rafael, dígale que necesita escribirme a Mr. Santos en WhatsApp en privado, si alguien me puede hacer ese favor. Diana Guadalupe. Present. Eh, Diana Melissa absent, ¿verdad? Diana Guadalupe present. Eh, Dora sí. Meril, Dora. Present. Okay. Dora Francisca. Edwin. Eh, guys, si va a tener el, eh, su micrófono encendido, por favor, eh, segúrese que está en un lugar silencio. Si no, póngalo en silencio, por favor. The next one. Edwin Eitel. Present. Very good. Um, Elisa Mercedes. Elisa Mercedes. No. Ok, pensé que la había visto. All right. Um, Eneida Patricia. Present. Erika Eloisa. Ella me escribió que estaba absent. Eh, Eugenia Asunción. Ingenia Asunción present, teacher. Good. Evelyn Esther. Yeah. Okay. Fátima Carolina. Present, teacher. Fernando José. Fernando José. Absent. Francisco Antonio. Absent. Francisco Manajen. Present teacher. Present. Gerson Ronaldo. Absent. Glenda Annette. Glenda Annette. Por ahí vi a Glenda. ¿Verdad que Glenda estaba conectada? ¿Verdad que sí estaba conectada Glenda? ¿La vieron? No. No creo. No me acuerdo. Ok. Absent. Um, Harold Eduardo. Absent. Present, teacher. Ok. Hector Jose. Present teacher. Okay, that's it. That's the last one. Present. All right. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now we are going to practice the activity. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Yes, we're ready. Yes, we are ready, teacher. Okay. We're, we're ready. Gonna, we're going to change partners. Give me just a second.
Ya hizo la actividad, todavía no. No, todavía no la he hecho. No sé si. Um, disculpe, la, la uno no, no le. No sé qué ponerle a la de it's raining, but hay espacio a uh, raincoat. No, ese, yo tampoco sé qué ponerle. Permítame, voy a, voy a ver el video de nuevo, a ver qué tal. Ah, este, fíjense que acabo de probar haciendo la negativa y así ya, ya me la puso buena. Eso, eso estoy intentando hacer yo también. Y very ah, ya se va a acabar. She's winning. Y en el otro dice, y que si usa botas. No lleva bota, ¿verdad? Son como unos tenis. ¿Perdón? Ajá. Not wearing boots. Y la otra eh, que lleva son tenis. Entonces, she is Ahí sí es afirmativa, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno. Sí. Bueno, bueno le voy a dar enviar a ver cómo me va. <risa> no, una me parece correcta. Quizás las he escrito mal. Sí, creo que las escribí mal. En la, en la cuatro me aparece she is wearing y luego la otra palabrita que aparece glove and a hat. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Sí, la escribí en la cuatro. Ah, is Pero es que es is ah, wearing. Is. Ya, eso me no, hacía falta. Es is. She is wearing. Is. Con ing. Ah, bueno. No, is. Is. Es. Is. She, is. Ah, bueno, she. Y en la otra sería. She, igual, ¿verdad? Is. Is. Not worrying. 
Ajá. Ajá. Es que yo solo le escribí el not por eso. Y la otra sería she. Ahí sí era afirmativo porque llevaba tenis, ¿verdad? She, she is. She is wearing. Me siguen apareciendo este malas, fíjense, quizás les estoy escribiendo mal. ¿Cuál? La cuatro, siempre de la cuatro. Ajá, la cuatro, porque le escribí, sí, bueno, las tres me salen mal, las tres de la cuatro, porque me aparece. She is wearing, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es? Sí, no le voy a poner otra vez el she. Tienen que poner solo is wearing. Eh, la I, la S y wearing. Pero sin el she. Porque como está ahí. Ah, ajá. Entonces solo sería is wearing, ¿verdad? Ah, cabal. Ajá. Y la otra es she. Igual is la... not wearing. Bueno, ajá. Con, y con ING. Sí, escribo W, A, E, R, perdón. No, es al revés, es W, E, A, R, I, N, G. Entonces ahí está el error. Ajá, es Gracias. al revés. Es ah, bueno, E primero y después la A. Bien. Allá. Sí, ahora se aparece en correcto. Es que lo había escrito al revés, ah, bueno. por eso era que error, pero gracias. Igual voy a corregir. Sí, es que lo había copiado. ¿no? La siguiente ya las terminó. La del 4.13. Uh -huh. oh, Yo sí, sé hasta sí. que llega. Ajá. Yo sé hasta que llega. Porque quiero ver la otra que terminé. Bueno, fue la anterior. Estuve haciendo las conversaciones. Uh -huh. Y sí, en esta sí era de las que más me había complicado. No sé, sí, también me di duro. Yo decía, ¿será uh -huh. que yo estoy pues, yo soy la que no puedo. Sí, sí. Lo que me parecía raro era que porque iba a escribir, porque yo estaba escribiendo la misma palabra en todas las opciones, pero no le escribía ni a ella, no. ni este, ni I, sino que solo la palabra quería escribir, pero no le escribía la parte de ING. Entonces, por eso me daba como error. Oh. Uh -huh. Yo pensé que se ponía, que algunas se podían poner con eh, sin ING. Y otras uh -huh. con ING, pero también intenté así, no se podía. Pero tendría Hasta que agregarle que ING a todas. Porque... Uh -huh. Ajá. Pero solo cinco lecciones, ya solo una lección nos faltaría ya, ¿verdad? Sí, las cinco. Sí, las cinco. Me imagino uh -huh. que la otra semana la, la terminamos. La veríamos. Ajá. ¿Perdón? O sea que son dos meses por, por módulo. Uh -huh. 
Es verdad que haciendo que... como cuentas son como un mes y medio de módulo. Sí, yo creo que sí, porque más o menos este tiempo llevamos y haciendo cuentas estaba viendo que nos falta todavía la lección 5 y solo mañana tenemos clases, me imagino que sí. Ah, sí, sí. Pero no, no, no creo que la veamos un día. No, sí, porque yo lo empiezo a sentir un poquito más complejo, ¿ya? En comparación de las primeras lecciones. Ay, sí. Sí, la verdad que sí. Sí, a mí me cuesta un poquito todavía pronunciar las palabras y conjugarlas. A mí mucho, porque yo tengo que ayudarme de traductor. Primero porque no, quizás necesito ampliar vocabulario y también la, eh, la pronunciación, porque a mí me cuesta pronunciar. Sí, pero a mí lo que me dicen es que tengo que hablar para que se me quite la, el miedo, porque yo soy muy odiosa hablando. Ajá. Y como es de práctica, ¿verdad? Si uno no practica, no puede ir perfeccionando la pronunciación. Se lo olvida. Sí, sí, exacto. <gasps> All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you finished or do you need more time? Finish. We're finished. I'm finished, teacher. Finish. Okay, let's go ahead and check this activity in pairs. Let's look at the first one. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing. I'm wearing. I'm wearing high heels too. Excellent. It's raining, but I. I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm, not, I'm not wearing. 
I'm not wearing a raincoat. It's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they are not, not, wearing. not wearing. Aren't wearing. Aren't wearing sunglasses. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing, wearing. wearing. He is wearing. A brown shirt, but he isn't wearing. Isn't wearing. Isn't wearing. Not wearing a tie today. It's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing. Is wearing. Is wearing. Is wearing. Is wearing. Blouse in a hat. She is not wearing. Isn't is is wearing. wearing. Wearing, wearing wearing sneakers. Perfect. Any questions? Good job. Any questions? All right. No. Por allí estaba escuchando que decían eh, yo ya la escribí así, ya la escribí así. Eh, puede ser que en vez de estar usando el apóstrofe esté usando el tilde y por esa razón le está dando error. So, porque yo sé que la mayoría tenemos el keyboard en español. So, no confunda el tilde latino con el apóstrofe. All right, uh, 4.12, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form yes, no questions in the present continuous tense. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar preguntas con respuestas sí y no en el tiempo presente continuo. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, I mentioned the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating? 
dinner is the complement. And of course, All right, so for this activity, I want you to write three examples similar to these examples. Be verb, subject, verb in the present continuous, and the complement. You're going to give me three questions and share them in the discussion forum in pairs. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes, teacher, are we are ready. Yes, teacher. Hola. <laughs> Uh-oh, there she is. <laughs> There's your team. Hola. Hi, hi. Bye. You work? Ya las terminó. Sí. No, ahorita. Ah, no. No, ahorita voy a empezar. Ok. Quiero ver, de una tres. ¿Por qué vamos a hacer tres ejemplos, pa? Sí, sí, según. Eh, ¿Lo que ¿Tú las anotaste? Sí, este. Um, bueno, lo que dio fue: Are you wearing a suite? Is she wearing books? Are you eating diner? Esa dio. Ah, ok, pero podemos hacer otras. Ajá, digo que sim similares a las que. Ajá, vaya, yo te dije: Are you work? Um, Ahora tu ejemplo. Ah, no te podría hacer. Ah, uh, tu wedding. ¿Estás tu wedding? ¿Tú? ¿Zapato? Ah, zapato. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, quiero ver. Esa sería la primera. Voy a ver el otro. Uh -huh. Is she wearing? Y aquí le vamos a Blows. poner. ¿Ah? Is she wearing blue? Blows, blows, blows. Are, are, are they, are they wearing, are they wearing, um, glasses, glasses, lentes. Lentes. Uh -huh. Sería. Are, are okay. they. Are they. they okay. Uh -huh. Are they. Wearing. Glasses. Ajá, porque aquí nos, nos da también el, como I think. Y, y estas son la, las, que, eh, las que hemos hecho. Solo hay que contestar yes, yes o or not. ¿no? Yes, I am. 
No hay en not. Mm. Yo solo copié estos los ejemplos nada más mm -hmm. esos tres sí, porque la, la, las que hemos hecho ahorita ha sido lo que contestaste yes o All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. Um, the time's already up, so I'm going to ask you, um, please move forward, try to finish section four. If you already finished section four, that's okay. You can continue with section five. All right, guys, good night. See you guys tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, See you tomorrow. Good night, 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 good night